Those who tried to harm you are called Decepticons. We must stop them before they destroy your world. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and tonight we're coming at you with our 100th episode. Bum, bum, bum. And I can't think of a better subject to do episode 100 with other than Optimus Prime. And this is Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Leader Class Optimus Prime. But we know he's not a leader class. He's basically a Voyager class stuck in a leader class box with a leader class price with a bunch of uh, accessories. Well, mainly one accessory, which is his trailer, but it can do a lot of stuff, which we'll see in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at this awesome box. And as you can see, it is decked out in the Earthrise uh, packaging. It has his name here on the left. It has Earthrise, Optimus Prime, Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy here. Uh, Takara Tomy at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Let me raise the camera. There it is. And Transformers Generations, Transformers, Hasbro 8 Plus. On this side of the box, you can see that awesome scene of the Ark being uh, shot down to Earth by the Decepticons, the Nemesis, and a whole bunch of other Autobots and Decepticons looking onward and doing stuff. You have the Transformers logo there and the Earthrise logo on the back of the box. You can see that it's Optimus Prime and he can do stuff with his trailer and, you know, he can turn into a truck and has a trailer to haul and there's some credits for the box and some barcodes and Hasbro and all sorts of stuff. And on this side of the box you have an awesome picture of Optimus Prime and well that's just great. Actually that's just Prime. <laughs> anyway okay okay. Now on the top of the box you just have all about symbol, Galvatron getting blown into space, Transformers, War for Cybertron, this is a little dusty. And on the bottom of the box you have more credits and all about symbols and stuff and words. But anyway who cares about that? Nobody wants to see this guy in the box. I know I don't. So let's get him out and see what he can do. And here we have Optimus Prime out of the package. And in his package, he comes with a nice set of directions and instructions to help transform him into a semi-truck and back to a robot or to a robot from a semi-truck, whatever you're wanting to do with him at the time. He also comes with this nifty little red decoder thing. It's just basically a red strip of plastic, which correlates to his backdrop. And usually I have these set out the entire time, but I've got a special background today. But since we have it, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. We'll see this, and we will see that it will correspond to his planet here. And you'll put that there. And basically, we'll zoom in, and it says Micron, Micron, Planet Micron. And that's a little map piece that you can cut out and, you know, put them together with the other um, pieces of the map for the galaxy in which the Transformers rove. But anyway, that's those things. Now, let's come uh, to Optimus himself. And as you can see, uh, I got a new backdrop. This is a shrunk down version of the one that you see in the museum videos. Uh, I got it from a place called Toy Hacks. They're very good, uh, repro labels. Also, uh, what they do is they sell backgrounds and they sell sticker sheets and all sorts of things that make your Transformers uh, better. So I recommend them if you're looking for something better. And we're actually going to take a look at some of their products in just a minute. But first off, let's take a look at the accessories Optimus Prime comes with him for his self. Uh, he comes with this big honking uh, laser gun. And taking a closer look at the gun, you can see it's just a uh, squat little black sausage looking thing. That's why I call it the sausage gun. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, it's got some nice molded details in there. But uh, really, for a prime gun, eh, it just has your basic kind of resemblance of it. But I really don't like it. But, uh, you know, it's, it, it, I think it should be like longer, a little skinnier. Uh, but, yeah. 
that's what they give you and it can uh, transform it'll fold up like this and you can uh, put it on the figure for storage and uh, you could put it in the truck mode too if we want to go closer to the truck uh, we could what we'll do is see you can put it in these little ports on the side but that looks silly and I don't think I'll ever do that but uh, you know hey it, it, it's an option and you could put it there if you want and maybe put it somewhere else I don't know but anyway that is the gun and also prime comes with what every prime, good prime should come with an Autobot matrix of leadership and this thing is really really small so small it's camera's having trouble focusing on it oh there we go uh you can see it's nice it's, it's plastic silver painted a little bit of uh, copper and a little blue translucent in the middle so that's pretty nice and uh a little back you can see the light piping can go through there that is really cool uh but it's really small and uh when we get to robot mode i'll show you where it can go although um if uh, we actually want to, you can actually take a look at the uh, truck here. And uh, you can see at the front here that the uh, windshield section can open up. And that reveals the matrix chamber in there. And there's a lot of good detail in there. Let me see if I can get a close look with this fancy dancy, fancy dancy new camera I got. So yeah, it can go in there. Wow, look at all that. Oops. Uh oh you zoom too far too far i guess um so yeah that is pretty neat a lot of detail in there we'll get a closer look when he gets into robot mode but as for accessories those are the only two things uh that he comes with that he can actually equip himself you know inside and his weapon but anyway there's also one other huge accessory that i want to talk about so let's take a look at this trailer okay moving prime out of the way i want to take a look at his trailer and eh, as far as trailers go i mean i guess it's okay it's seven inches long um but it, it just seems really small for my taste um the g1 trailer which was uh um, much larger trailer uh fit the prime well but you know i guess it scales really well with him i mean when he has it on uh but it just feels kind of cheap uh you bring these legs down and these uh, legs they seem very i don't know flimsy and cheap and um i don't know i just think they could have done a better job with it but um i, I don't really know what i expect the uh the uh, label here is okay uh it could have been a little white in there i mean it looks like you know look like the uh original trailer except there's not a white strip here in the center uh, i don't know but uh anyway what we can do and what i had planned on doing is because i knew this uh was going to be my 100th video I went ahead and ordered uh, from Repo Labels. Like I said, I got the background for them. But I also got this set of Earthrise Optimus Prime stickers. And they sell a lot of great products. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, stickers make your figures better. So what we're going to do is before we move on, I'm going to sticker this trailer up. And we'll see what it looks like when we come back. And we're back, and as you can see, with a little bit of Repro Label Love, this trailer looks 100% better. I mean, look at that line going. It's very defined. You can see it. It stands out really well. And, oh my goodness, it looks so much better. And on the back, even got a little detail here. Got some uh, tail lights and some uh, words on the... Um, calves stay clear and a couple uh, hazard marks on there so uh, and again another stripe here on the cat on the uh, other side of the trailer that looks really really good so cool so let's get this bad boy opened up and see what's inside so we'll bring this down oh let's see how this open up uh, ring down come on 
Well, we'll open it up first. Like that. And then bring this down. And then open up to a bunch of gray plastic. Yeah. Okay, see this little guy? He uh, stands around. He can uh, come up like that. Has little arms that extend. That's pretty. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, let's go back to have some more repro label magic. And here we are with a little repro label magic on the trailer. And as you can see, just a little bit of stickers goes a long way. This used to be a very dull, bland, gray uh, piece. And now you have a lot more detail in the, uh, in the trailer. So let's take a quick look, zoom in and see some of these labels so it's really nice uh looks like megatron there and cybertron i think that's a list of uh transformer episodes maybe from the first uh season i guess there's some other things very nice detailing um, the stickers on the sides and then on the other side we still have more stickers that we added to the sides there's bumblebee roller mia which is funny because there is no roller in this set uh, a couple of schematics and some of those uh, little things that you could use the uh decoder to look i don't think we're gonna take time to do that see that the little go strip this is where roller would eject if we had one down this little ramp that's cool a little uh stickers on the sides so i guess this is a review for the repro label set as well as the uh, earthrise prime and then we have the uh, mechanic butt and he can come up and you can see inject his little arms here i uh, got some blue on the side that's nice and his windshield got, it's all uh, golded out a little bit of black around the uh place where the missiles were to come out but there is no missiles so that's kind of annoying and then some more blue on this side and you can see uh, this little guy he can raise up and he can go forward and, and he can go back a little bit and you can actually raise this up and if you want to so you bring that up now close the trailer back up he can ride outside the trailer Let's see, get that up back there. And then turn him around. So that is something that you could do if you're so inclined. Have your little mechanic bot outside. We'll have to put this up. So hey, that's kind of like a transform in itself. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's uh, out, 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 out. So yeah, it's like, it's just like a new transform for the trailer. Nessie, the Prime's trailer bot, I guess. So that's something you could do. <laughs> all right, that's pretty much all for the trailer right now. When we get uh, Prime in robot mode, uh, we'll take another look at it. But anyway, moving on. And that brings us to what everybody wants to see, the cab section, which is Optimus Prime himself. And this is Optimus Prime in truck mode, and he is a very nice uh, looking truck. Um, he's red, obviously, and has some blue on the back here. He's got some silver gas tanks here. Um, taking a quick look at his, he's got this nice silver stripe down the side, Autobot symbol there. Silver smokestacks, good. A little bit of blue for the uh, windshield here. Blue here. It's actually uh, clear, translucent, and there's some like blue behind it. Uh, a little bit of blue, translucent uh, plastic for uh, the headlights here. A nice silver chrome bumper and grill, and that silver that continues around here. And again, on this side, minus the Autobot logo there, um, everything else is the same on the side. Uh, on this end, you don't really have much to look at, just some uh, silver highlights here. And on the back, a little bit of gray plastic here, blue 
So, yeah, the uh, interesting thing, the tires are uh, different. You can see these tires, they have this like little black thing going on, but the front tire is just plain. So I don't know what the significance of that is. If you look at the uh, trailer, it has the same kind of uh, uh, tires as the uh, back of the truck here. And uh, speaking of the trailer, you see that little circle there. That is the trailer hitch that you could just put right here. It's just slabs down in there. And boom, you have an Optimus with a trailer. Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit because we can't really see that, can we? There we go. There we go. So, yeah, that, and that looks pretty good, I guess. Um, it's kind of hard to move him. Uh, it kind of, with the tab being so long and sticking in there, it, it doesn't really give good motion. I mean, you can, but nah. There you go. And brum, 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 brum. Optimus can go. So, yay! That is what he looks like with his trailer. Now, I did get some repro labels for Optimus's cab himself. Uh, so, we are going to take a second and see what we can do to repro label this guy up and make him look a little better. So, give me just a second and let's work some repro magic. Okay, so there really wasn't that many repo labels that I wanted to use for uh, the cab mode. Uh, what I did add is a couple head uh, lights here, for the yellow lights there. Um, I added some tail light looking things here, and some diamond uh, uh, plating stickers there. But uh, there's a few others you could use. You could uh, highlight the uh, windows there and then here and then c cover the uh, translucent plastics. But I really didn't want to do that because I was happy with how it looks like that. So anyway, uh, let us do some comparisons. So we'll move him. Yeah, we'll move him to center stage. And here he is with the siege optimus prime see how they look like together that looks pretty nice and um i know what you're gonna ask and the answer is if we bring in the optimus earthrise trailer he's got that little peg and he also has that little port and yes you can put the trailer right on to the siege optimus and that looks all right so actually turns a little better <laughs> with siege of course that could be because i didn't peg it all the way in so uh so yeah that looks all right if you want to do that and uh buy uh the earthrise prime just for the trailer i think that's a bit of a waste but it is something that you can do if you're so inclined all right so put him back there he is and here we have the kbb v uh prime this guy is basically a mp10 has been shrunk down to voyager size and he looks like you'd expect him to look but just smaller so there they are together it's pretty nice indeed so we'll put him there and here he is with the Voyager, or the Voyager Classics Prime, uh, way back in the day. So we put these guys out side by side. Uh, you see that they did a, they had a wind vane here for this one, again, kind of an extended cab for the new kind of updated Optimus. So that was pretty neat. Okay, go over there. And last but not least, let's put him up with G1 Optimus, because I have them right here. So they are roughly the same size. The uh, Earthrise has him beat by just a hair, if you look on the side. And he's obviously a little longer. So, but for the most part, they are kind of uh, negotiable uh, size-wise. So, yeah. And there you have a whole bunch of Optimi. Yay. Let's get him there centered. So, yeah. 
very good set but you know that's your optimuses always like to do comparisons of optimuses but he since he's part of the earthrise so let's get some earthrise figures out here and here he is with earthrise grapple got some nice size there uh he, grapple is obviously a little longer than prime but uh, prime is still higher taller i guess as it were in robot mo or in a vehicle mode excuse me so we'll put that off here she is with earthrise hoist so they're about good size you know upper on um, tall height wise so yeah <clears throat> Side by side, Optimus obviously got him beat long, lengthwise as well. I don't know if you can actually see that, but yeah, there you go. All right, that's pretty nice. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you go over there and show him some car bots. Here he is with Will Jack. So, Earthrise and Will Jack. There you go. That's pretty neat. Right there. Oh, get out of the sight. Oh. All right. And last but not least, here he is with Cliff Jumper. Little Cliff Jumper. Get out of there. Uh, you're not having a lot of room here. Oh, the kitties are awake. Sorry about that. If you hear them, they're. Uh, this is where they live, so. Please forgive me for meowing. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Ah, and that is... Oops, move in there. Move in there. And that is what you look at when you have the Earthrise Autobots. And that's a really good looking brunch, I think. So, yeah. All right. So, moving on. <laughs> And full transformation. This is going to be a lot of tabbing and untabbing and folding. So what we'll do is first, uh, really simple stuff is we'll take these gas tanks and we'll fold them down on both sides like that. All right. So now we will do uh, some untabbing uh, right here at the uh, back of the wheel. We're going to untab here. Bring that out on both sides. That's one's tab. And then you see this little tab right here. I'm going to bring that out. That's another tab on both sides. All right. And then the last tab is going to be right here at the uh, right behind the window. And that's going to come out like that. And on this side as well. Like that. Now, uh, at this point, we're going to kind of break this apart from the silver bumper here between here and the grill. This will come up. E. Untab, and there you go. And that can come up, uh, giving us a little bit of room to take these arms out. So the arms that you can see right here will come straight out. Pull them off to the side and then out and over here pull this one out and pull it up to the side and that will give us a little more clearance now at this point we can raise optimus all the way up on this hinge uh oh getting a little off camera so let's zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing all right so now at this point um we can turn him 180 degrees. So now we look like we can see something that looks like actually legs and pelvis. So go to the side. Uh, there'll be these little tab, little red tab here. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. So come on, come on. So yeah, this little tab here will come forward. And that will create more of his side, like that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come over here and do the same thing. Here it is right here. Put that into place. All right. Now, from this point, you can go ahead and uh, split the legs, 
bring down the knees like that open the feet da, 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 like that and open this one like that all right so now we're getting somewhere we still have a whole bunch of goobly gosh to look to work with all right so up here it's going to sound crazy but you're going to have to bring this up and it will sound kind of bad but you know that's just how this tolerance stuff works so you will open this up bring it up you hear that big crackling pop that's that's supposed to happen okay and when you get there uh what we're gonna have to do is zoom out just a little bit we can at this point work on getting the head out so go to the back pull this panel down and go ahead and push optimus's head through it's a lot easier to do it now than later and then we can put this panel back all right now we are going to start folding this stuff in so we're going to fold this and then this okay and we're going to fold this and we're going to fold this in all right now when you fold that in you can see these these little uh, indentions here that correspond to these little things so what you're going to do is you're going to pop that and it's going to come across like so and they're going to tab right into there all right and then you're going to bring this down like that and then you're going to see a little indentions here and little pegs at the top of the uh what uh which will be his ab things here and so these will correspond to these and you'll just snap them right into place ah, like that and there we are almost done with our leader so bring arms down open up the side compartment here pull his little fists out rotate them that's good same thing on this side open up the panel pull the fists out like so orientate them correctly and now the last thing you want to do is come back here to this little flap that's just hanging out there it's gonna go up and then you're gonna fold the wheels in like that and there you have optimus prime in his robot mode and that is beautiful that is an optimus prime i am telling you and in robot mode optimus prime stands a little under seven inches tall and he is a great figure uh these war for cybertron uh, optimuses are really really good so far i am very happy with each and every one that i have had i think this is the third one but anyway uh zooming in a little closer on his head we can see that uh, he has some very nice uh blue eyes in his helmet there he's got a, a blue helmet darker blue on the inside uh metallic blue for his eyes it shows uh, some silver on his crest and his faceplate i don't know what it is mine has this really strange mark across the kind of the top of it i'm not sure what that is but oh uh, well uh has some red plastic you can see those are the same blue uh, windows in truck mode let's see coming down silver abs and uh silver line going across got some yellow on the belt there section and ah uh, that, that 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 part right there that is annoying uh right bo right above his uh blue crotch and that that's blank uh yellow uh, blank spot that should be yellow that's not good uh back to some gray legs back down to blue and some the little repro labels we got there and that is just a awesome awesome looking figure uh but you know as uh with the trailer and with truck mode i have some repro labels for his robot mode and it will take care of that glaring little midsection thing so let me repro him up with some repro label magic and i will be right back and here we are with a little bit of repro label magic and you can see his belt section is now all of a goldish yellow and that middle section is colored in with a sticker 
And if you look on his uh, arm, there was a silver spot right here, but now it's been replaced with a red circle and a yellow uh, arrow pointing down to his uh, hand. And a little bit of uh, stickers on his upper thigh, which makes them a little bit metallic and silverish. So that is really neat. Um, Repro, label, Repro Labels does a really good job when it comes to, like, like I said, covering up stuff or adding color and stuff to your uh, figures. So I highly recommend them if you like to uh, collect Transformers. They have a set for almost everybody on their uh, website. So anyway, now moving on. And for articulation, basically his head can go 360 degrees around if you're so inclined. Uh, but I don't see why you'd want to do that. Even though he is a robot, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt him much. But uh, it's pretty, he can look up a little bit. He can look down just a little bit. And that's about the extent of his head movement. Uh, his shoulders can go all the way around 360 degrees it can go up to the left and it can go back a little bit if you want to do that little uh, 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 kind of crunch thing uh, but that's mostly for transformation he does have an elbow bend right there which is very nice and he has a wrist swivel right here i don't know if i mentioned these hands oh they are so pretty they got this metallic blue and that's great neat and the hands themselves actually open so you get some articulation there you got these little finger sections uh that uh are combined here so it looks like he's typing if you know that's how they call typewriter uh fingers all right and on his waist, he does have a waist swivel, uh, but it is hindered slightly because of these wheels, but there is a way around it. So if you want to unhook the wheels, pull, unplug them, you can actually bring this section down and collapse it around the waist like so. And, you know, it is slight, it is unsightly a little bit. Uh, you got the wheels around there, but that will loosen, uh, loosen up his waist swivel so it can go all the way around if you're so inclined to do that. If not, you don't have to. And if you want to, you can just bring it back a little bit and not collapse it, put it down like that. And that actually looks better. I mean, you don't have the wheels on the button, the big thing, and you still have your uh unhindered waist articulation but anyway that's what you got to do if you want full waist articulation with this thing and we'll go ahead and leave that up there like that so um your legs can go up a long way that's big uh kick right there and it can't go back that much again like we were saying the wheel articulation and if you put this up like it's supposed to be, I mean, you still kind of don't get anything. So going back isn't really a, a, a good option. But you can go out to the side. Wah! And kick that way. And he has a thigh rotation. Like that. So that's pretty nice. He has a nice knee bend. You get some good crane kicks. Yeah, yeah. Elbow, net, and our knee to the face. Decepticon. Bah, bah, bah. And uh, his foot, it can go down, but that's basically for transformation. And it does have a rocker like that. So that thing. So that is that. Um, did I mention he has a uh, bicep swivel? I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I got too impressed with the metallic uh, blue hands. But yes, he has a bicep swivel going back up to there. All right. So that is it for his articulation. And for accessories, here is his blaster, which we will transform back into the sausage gun, which I hate. Uh, I mean, the more I use this thing, the more I, I really hate it. Uh, it's just too thick for him. The handle is like a light gray. It's just... But anyway, it fits right into his hand uh, really nicely. You can 
wrap his finger around it, and then boom, Decepticons, boom, boom, boom. I have a gun. It looks like a sausage. Pew, 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 pew. So yeah, that it's pretty nice. I mean, you know, it doesn't look too bad once you uh, get him holding it like that, I guess. But anyway, and like I said, um, with this gun, if you don't want him holding it, you can fold it up like so. And there's a couple tabs, and they say they want you to tab it on his back uh, in this peg right here, and it will peg nicely like that. You know, so it's not really in the way. He could still go for that, reach around the back to grab his weapon. Uh, so if you're so inclined to do that, but I don't, I'll never do that. That is silly, silliness. And you can actually keep it, you know, in a shoulder peg if you want to do that. Maybe this one down here. So you get a little closer to, no, nah, I guess that won't work. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if it had like a holster. That would be cool. But, eh. Anyway, that is his little sausage gun. So, bah. And here he is with his matrix. And that's about as good as he could hold it. He can't bring the other uh, arm around to like, oh, light our darkest hour. So, that's pretty much it. If you wanna, he wants to hold it, he can hold it in one hand. And that's pretty nice. And like I said, uh, what we'll do with this is we'll take that. And we'll open up Optimus's chest here. Tab, tab, oh! and you can see the hole in there. And when you take this matrix, <laughs> what you'll do is uh, from this side where the crystal's poking out, you have this little uh, dention up here at the top, the two things going up. That's the right way to stick it into his chest. So basically, it will line up right in this little tab and tab right in and sit nicely in the cha matrix chamber so that's really cool Oop, got too close got too close got too close Come on. Ah! but anyway so yeah that's where you'll sit and uh there's still a lot of neat detail in there so um but uh that's how you work his matrix and Optimus can interact with his trailer. So what we do is we just open it up like this, bring it down. And there's a couple ways you can uh, do certain things. Uh, bring this down and you can bring the uh, repair bot up. It will extend off his little thing. There you go. Pull out his little arms like so. And you know, you can actually get it a little more higher if you bring it all the way up. And then Optimus can lay down here. He's like, oh, repair me. And he goes, repair, repair. Uh, but, you know, if it gets his legs, I don't know how he's going to do that. Just turn around. I don't know. But that's cool. So he can do that. Um, also, another way to interact with this is pull those legs up. Set it straight up. And this would be a good way too, is if he uh, is standing in the bay, so uh, and getting diagnostics, and the repair bot can still get a little <laughs> repair, repair, <laughs> like that. So that's pretty fun uh, to do. All right, and another thing that we can do is the. Uh, little armature guy here is detachable so we can take him off and he has a little hole right here and that can plug into the back of Optimi. I see right here and then that's interchangeable we'll put him there and you could kind of use it you know do all sorts of things with it uh, it can go around on his back, come up like a iron spider kind of thing. Uh, actually, go this way. Uh, get back in there. Ah! All right, and so and then come over. Ah! And he has like killer arms. Oh, it's, you can't even see that. You can't see my madness. There we go. You can see it has like you can have like these attachment. Ah, get it off! He's trying to kill me. Ah! Up, so yeah 
That is another playable option that you can do if you're so inclined. It looks kind of crazy and silly, but hey, they designed it that way so you could do it. All right, put that down here and you can have like a backpack. And I wonder if you kind of turn this way that maybe, I don't know, some sort of maybe a rocket pack because you have those little things there. Yeah, that'll work, kind of. If this was up a little, I don't know. But those are the playable options with the trailer. And there's also another thing uh, that you could do with the trailer. If you check out the, uh, the um, trailer door right here, there's a little panel and it will come off. You just slide it out and boom. This is a little thing that they say could be used as a shield for Optimus. And he could uh, attach it to his little uh, ports right here and say, ah, don't shoot me, ah. Um, I guess, I mean, you could do it like uh, the Siege Optimus. He had that like shield axe thing, uh, but I don't know. I, I would never do that with that and it probably fits in his hand too i mean if you want to do it that way like ah ch -ch -ch stay away ch -ch -ch -ch. but um that's still something silly that you can do with this piece but also what this piece can do is it can attach to uh grapple and hoist so if you have either of those bots like say for instance hoist here ah let me lower the camera down just a hair and you want to undo his uh, towing hitch come on, come on come on come on you can see that this will attach to here and I see somehow how does it attach yeah go in there it can attach and you know you have this little thing going I don't know maybe if there was some uh, if there were some bots that had holes in them that you know you could attach right here to this and that would like it you know easier to transport a bot but for some reason that connects there and that's pretty neat and also on your grapple you have your grapple out you gotta have the hook and when you put the grappling hook into this little slot right here and then you could take this piece right here and you can attach it right here and there i don't know what that does for you but it it's a thing it can do and you can have that and you can go um so yeah that's what you could do with that and that is how you can interact with optimus and his trailer and for comparison here he is with the siege optimus prime and i said before we'd take a look and see that these guys share a lot of the same uh pieces and body parts um you're talking about the legs. I mean, the legs are um, pretty much the same. Uh, you got the fenders and the, the flaps right here. Same type of detail here, up to here. Uh, the legs, they, uh, there's a little different detailing and molding here. Um, pelvis different. Uh, maybe the uh, waist here. Eh, I think this is actually different because I remember these had to go back. So, yeah, pretty much the legs are the same. The arms, uh, different because of the transforms, different molding. Uh, maybe these top parts are the same. Uh, this looks similar. Well, no, the rivets are different. And the, uh, the smokestacks are a little larger on the Earthrise. So, but it's very close. Different head sculpt, or it may just be different paint. Yeah, it looks like about the same head sculpt. Looks like they share the same head. Uh, but, you know, they are very similar. And that's okay. Because they were both very good figures. So, we will move him over here. 
So I'll get him, and now we'll take a look at the MP or KBBV, which is the Voyager sized uh, MP10. So you can see uh, this was whoa way back in the day when they made Voyagers really big. So let's zoom the camera out so we can see these comparisons. So yeah, uh, he is really not that big when it comes to the Voyager uh, KBB version. Uh, again, this is a m reduced uh, MP10 Masterpiece uh, Prime. So you can see there's not really any borrowed parts here. So, all right, we'll put him over here. And then we'll bring out the Classics Prime that came out long, long ago. And you can see they're approximately the same height. Uh, this was the different transform. This was the long, uh, longer-nosed uh, sleeper uh, truck version, the updated one. Um, they are roughly the same size again. Um, maybe I think the Earthrise beats it by just a hair, but uh, you can see that's pretty nice prime. So I'll stand back there. And last but not least, we have the G1 prime. And comparing these two, well, there's not really in comparison. This was like a brick, and this is an actual piece of art if you want to compare, make a comparison. Um, but, you know, height-wise, eh, again, they're relatively close. The uh, Earthrise hasn't beat by a couple inches, but still, that is pretty neat. And there is a whole bunch of Optimi, Optimus Primes, so... I really like all my Optimuses. So we'll see what we got. Get him here. Get that there. Maybe get him so a little closer so you can see them all. Yeah, there you go. Very good. All right. Moving on. And before we get to the Earthrise uh, comparisons, I just want to say that the Siege Optimus Prime has now lost his rifle because it is going to this guy. That The uh, Siege rifle looks a whole lot better than that s weird little sausage gun that they gave the Earthrise Optimus. But anyway, so that is that. All right, for comparison with the Earthrise, here he is with Grapple. Voyager class. See, they're the same class, so this is why you can, I can tell you that Optimus isn't a leader class. He's just a Voyager class stuck in a leader class box. So as you can see that they're the same size there. And uh, that's a good comparison there. Hey, these two. Uh-huh. All right. You go over there, Mr. Grapple, and we'll bring in Mr. Hoist. Now, Hoist, I think, we got a little more bang for our buck with because Hoist is considered a deluxe, but he is about the size of a Voyager. So check him out. There he is, the other Master Builder with Earthrise Prime. They look really good together. I just love the G1 uh, deco and aesthetic. So we will move him over here. And let's take a look at Wheeljack. Wheeljack. Come on, Wheeljack. Here is Wheeljack. Again, he is a deluxe car. And so they are kind of a different scale. Deluxe Voyager. So you can see the difference there in size. Put your head down, Prime. So that's, they look good. So well, you can go over here. And again, we got ripped off with a... They gave us Cliff Jumper, who was a legend in a deluxe class so i don't know what the deal is with these guys but here he is with prime and these are the uh, uh earthrise autobots here so we'll move wheeljack here cliff jumper goes over here something's up with my table it's not really uh, flat today go here go here go back here and then we can put prime right in the middle where he belongs as the leader da, 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 da. boom Oop. Uh, let's see if we'll, we'll jack there all right Oop. let's zoom out so we can see everybody's smiling face boom there you go and this is the first wave of earthrise autobots that we have 
So the next wave is going to come out in a, a little bit. So we're not going to be able to do many uh, Transformer reviews until we get some new ones that I want to review, which is basically the G1 uh, inspired ones. Uh, so I think there's like a couple of Sunstreaker, Trailblazer, Smokescreen, I think they're coming out. And uh, But right now, this is a really good set and I'm very, very happy to have it. And this has been the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. And I really, really love uh, the Optimus Prime. He is very good. He has the great aesthetics and it looks just like the G1 Prime. And um, he um, comes with a trailer. Now the trailer is not that great, it's kind of flimsy, but a little bit of repro label love like we did, and it looks okay, or passable, I guess. Uh, anyway, it looks good with him pulling it in semi-truck mode. Um, so the uh, toy itself, the, tr the Optimus, he's uh, easy to transform, very intuitive. Um, feels kind of scary sometimes when you're doing that clack 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 and folding it into or trying to get it apart so you think oh it might break on me but so far so good and um uh, i can't really complain about him uh the only thing i didn't like was that midsection wasn't colored but we got that done uh fixed up with repro labels the gun i hated the little sausage gun ugh but we stole Siege Prime's gun, so that was taken care of. Got a little more uh, details on him with the other repro labels. I, I don't really have any uh, bad things to say about this guy. I really like uh, his uh, m metallic blue. Uh, his head, his hands, his little crotch piece was done in. I thought that was kind of strange. You know, in the uh, promo pics, uh, he had yellow eyes and gray hands. And I think uh, everybody looked at that and said, it's horrible. And it, word got back to Hasbro and Hasbro's like, yeah, we need to change that. And uh, so, yeah, if, if that's what happened, yay, they listened and they did good. And uh, this is a great little optimist to add to your Earthrise collection. I uh, really recommend him. Even though he's like, again, a Voyager class figure in a leader class box with the $40 uh, price tag. But anyway, that's just how Hasbro's doing things these days. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this special 100th episode of uh, our little channel. And uh, if uh, you notice some strange things about this video, I'm using a brand new camera. I'm using a brand new video mixing uh, program. So everything about this is brand new. And I uh, hope it comes out well. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And until the next hundred episodes, I will catch you later. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. 